Okay, uh, we're finally getting down to it. Uh, actually, making the mount for the TV inside this. All right, so we got our rotating unit here, and we're getting ready. We're going to pull this out of here because we got a lot of other things to do with this. Our straight edge, we're clamped. The carriage is square with the um, the framework, and this is our rectangular tube. We need it around here to become the bearings and the pivot. But the rectangle shape is going to come down, go behind the TV, and grab the mounting plate on the back of the TV. The cable will make the transition from the round into the flange that's cut for the rectangular tube, as, as, you know, as we got here. Um, and of course, this this length here is longer than we need, and it's going to have a jog and a couple angles cut into it. So. Let's just get this out and let's get going. We got some machine work to do. Play uh, sprocket. This one here, we needed to have it so that we can time the holes into it with this nut here, so we can lock it down. set up and we're going to weld this flange to the base of this and we have these match marked the way we want them to go and the way that we matched up the holes uh, so this basically got to go down on the table like that all right and we have a section of all thread here we kind of put together and uh, we got it on the tube here like this Lower this down in here. Okay, this is going to ensure that the, the tube itself is tight against the, the table. Okay, tube's tight against the table. Alright, ring can still move. So now we need. We move this out of the way. I should go get washers. I I don't like running bolts right against the uh, grooves of those. All right, uh, we went and got a couple washers here. We don't need much tension, and we don't need them real far in there. We Okay, we want to be back a little bit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to stick weld this. So we're going to burn it in there with some 7018. And it's our preference. It's a structural uh, weld. And uh, we're going to just put one weld and it'll be at this point right here. We're not going to do a weld on the face there. The more welding you do on it, the more dish, cup, bent, warp, everything else you're going to have on here. Now this is a nice cylindrical item and we could put it in the lathe. And and uh, turn it and be, be no problem. Well, we might have, to, might have to tap that hole right there. Yeah, got a little uh, slag in it or something.
<laughs> Maybe it was the way you were screwing it. Okay, now I think we're hundred percent set up square nice and tight. We can probably get ourselves just a, well, no, we don't want any splatter coming up and getting any of those threads right there. So we're going to leave that right there. And our stick, we're going to be in at a nice angle. All right, and get set up for a wall. Now this is a standard 1-8-70-18. I do prefer uh, Lincoln Excalibur rod is my choice. Quarter inch flange, quarter inch wall on the tube about 120 amps. Um, I should be moving fast enough to where I believe that this rod will give me one full feet around there, but I'm not I'm not worried if it's not going to be that. I'm just gonna be making a pretty good pass there. I think I'm gonna stay kind of limbo because I'm gonna have to walk around this as I go. side here is it does tend to pull the flames back this way but with it interface right at that wall and the pipe end being machine flush and we're going to do the same thing on this flange here even though it's a box tube I'm going to face that box tube in the mill we're going to hold it down the same way this is and we're going to do this wall around then when those two plates come together it's going to be bringing two precision machine services regardless of how much run out is out here so you're still going to be holding this thing square and out in line without machining these faces after I'm done start and finish not bad one two little uh, BBs there Nice flush bottom. 
Good to go. All right, uh, we got this flange, this, the rectangular flange, and uh, we've machined that face right there. So now we can go ahead and attach that part to that. And uh, it's a good tight fit. We are going to. We're gonna have to crank this thing down in here. I'm gonna go get a couple washers for the top there. <laughs> I, you know, you can't ask for that. A better fit than that right there. All right, now we uh, get that out of our face. Okay, here again, we're good, and I'm going to start and walk a single bead of 7018 around that box too. right to the butt end of that rod there because I got uh, just around that corner so I'm going to pick it up just on that other side of that corner there. so that we don't drag or scrape any uh, shielding on any wires or damage any wiring. And that'll be the opening of the pocket that's going down. <laughs> 